Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video 343 just announced a new blog post uh, about Halo CC modding support and talking about the season uh, 8 update and it's going to be huge. My god, they are actually going to make this into a reality. If you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Halo content and stay tuned throughout the video. So we all know that Halo C Anniversary, you know, was the first Halo, it was the first game in the collection to have uh, official mod support, which was introduced in, in, you know, in this season, season 7, when it launched. Uh, but now Halo 2 and Halo 3 will be getting the same treatment. And most people had, you know, they were skeptical. They had doubts that they weren't, you know, going to reach, you know, the same level. Uh, it will be very, very, very limited. Uh, but man, I, I'm, I'm amazed they actually did it. Uh, Halo Reach and Halo 4 are already in the works. And 343 also confirmed there will be Steam Workshop. That's right. There's going to be Steam Workshop. Say what? Do you guys have any idea how much a big deal this is for Halo? Halo will start a new Prime. It's going to compete against other games like Skyrim, GTA 5, Gary's Mods, Left 4 Dead, and Fallout. And, for, and the Fallout mods I've seen are amazing. I've seen, I've seen people modding Halo in Fallout, which looked Astonishing, you know, I, I cannot, I cannot believe T4T has the balls to do something like this, giving us the official tools for all these games. It's too good to be true. Like, what kind of developer does that? Uh, this makes me so hyped up for modding in Halo MCC. MCC would have, you know, a longevity because of this. I really desire to see what the Halo community will make when it comes to modding Halo MCC, especially the SPV3 modders. Those guys, like, can you guys imagine? SPV3 in Halo 3 or, or Halo Reach or what about Halo 3 Anniversary Campaign mod remake we never got from 343 or even better yeah what about Halo 3 Curse Edition Halo Reach Curse Edition what about that like like with you and your powers playing Curse Edition you know 4 player co up like there's so much possibilities this will blow our minds away and them adding Steam Workshop will be a hell a lot easier for the players to gain access to download mods you know back in Halo Custom Edition some people struggle to follow the instructions you know when it comes to installing mods they can't always work around it or can't even find the mod you know on, on the mod on the internet at all like that they want to download so having Steam Workshop is a huge win you know there are some games that I think games like GTA 5 that game is very moddable right a lot of people mod that game you know like to the max but there's literally no steam workshop so yeah but you know looking at mcc we'll be getting steam workshop oh my god however there are two uh, essential things that i would love to have in, in halo mcc when it comes to modding and i'm sure many of you guys want the same thing much as i do uh so when it comes to the custom uh, game browser i want the custom game browser to have a feature where you to join a random server uh, but the server would detect that you're about to join a modded server, right? It's not like a normal server or anything, it's a modded server. So it should be able to download that mod package for you just to play on that server. Uh, it downloads automatically basically. Uh, this, is a, this is a very important feature to have uh, because let's say you hosted a modded server, right? And a player tried to join your server. He won't able to join it because, you know, he might have a message popping up on the screen telling him that, oh, you don't have the same map file as him, you know, as the host. So my point is, people who host mod servers, uh, they are just going to be spending time playing alone. You guys are going to be spending time playing alone if you're hosting a mod, a modded uh, map or something. No one, uh, you know, no one else because like because no one else has the same mods as you as the host. I mean, how would the players know who would try to join? Uh, how would they know that the like what kind of mods the hosts are playing, right? So unless that the host is very accurate with his server name to let them know what mods they're playing. Uh, but I don't know, they, they really got to bring in, th bring in this feature. Uh, Halo Custom Edition you know, had this feature and I believe Garage Mods also had it as well where you click on a modded server, it will download that map for you, wh whatever it is. Uh, I hope Thief 3 uh, implement this, it's, it's a very important feature, I really hope they do that. And the second one is, the second thing we want, um, I don't want to replace the original map files like with modded, you know, with modded files that I have. Uh, I would like to keep both files. Uh, again, this is what Halo Custom Edition had. Like, you didn't even need to remove or rename or replace or, you know, you don't need to overwrite things or anything like that. Uh, this is quite annoying because sometimes, you know, I just forget to back up my files uh, and I end up crushing my game in matchmaking. So, yeah, I do uh, hope that they do uh, find a way to uh, uh, implement this feature. 
but yeah, uh, those are the two things I, I really want. I'm sure you guys want the same thing as well. Uh, so far, T43 are doing a fantastic job, you know, so far when it comes to, you know, like us, you know, wanting mod support for Halo MCC and they're actually taking action, you know, they're actually doing it, they're actually doing something. Uh, they did say somewhere in the blog post about Season 8 will be the last season, at least this year, uh, which I'm quite a little bit upset, uh, but then again, uh, totally understandable. Uh, I mean, their main priority is to focus on Halo Infinite, right? <laughs> and, pa and pass the, the torch to the Halo community when it comes to modding Halo MCC, like, you know, which is very really astonishing move, you know, the Halo, the Halo community will take care of the Halo MCC. You know, we we look after it, okay? We we take it from here. <laughs> yeah, you know, Halo MCC isn't going to go anywhere, it's here to say. I mean, they did say they will come back one day to maybe add more content, like in Season 9, Season 10. Season 10 was supposed to be the last season. So, yeah, my guess they will come back for those two, for those last two seasons. I'm just so hyped up, man, for modding. Can you guys imagine, like, what what's going to happen with the MCC? Like, I'm just so hyped up for Halo in general. Like, even, like, you know, obviously, obviously with Halo Infinite, everything else Halo-related, like, I'm just so hyped up. I can see... I can see the future, man. Like, Halo is far from dead. Halo is far from dead. Like, oh, man. Biggest downside about this, and, you know, obviously, I'm disappointed. It was expected. Uh, they haven't mentioned anything about mod support for, for Xbox players in this blog post. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know if T43 are going to do anything about that. Even if they do end up doing it, I think it will be very, very limited. Uh, I don't know what to say about the console players. I just hope they get something unique out of this. Uh... Because the friends that I play with, they're on Xbox, so this kind of makes me sad in a way. Uh, you know, I would just hate to see, you know, my friends, you know, that are on Xbox will miss the modding experience. Um, I mean, like, it is worrying. I mean, people 3 can't even get crossplay camping to work, so I don't know how much work can be done, you know, when it comes to, like, bringing modding, uh, you know, on consoles. Uh, we have to see. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I do apologize I haven't been uploading recently. It's been a while since I've uh, uploaded. I think it's been like three weeks. I'm just really distracted by Twitch streams. I've been streaming a lot of Halo, but I promise I'm going to try to be consistent, you know, as usual to keep on uploading more Halo content uh, on YouTube. Uh, anyways, if you guys are, uh, you know, new to the channel and if you enjoyed this video, please do uh, smack that like button, subscribe, and be, and be sure to comment and let me know what you guys uh, think about the mod support for the Halo Master Chief Collection. And be sure to follow us on Twitch. Uh, we do literally stream Halo there every day. If you guys don't have a Twitch account, just create one. It takes like a few seconds. So just create username and password. It just takes a few minutes. You don't have to verify anything. Just create your username and password and that's it. And you can Go ahead and drop a follow so you guys will know when I go live on Twitch. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.